Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? You know, it's your boy Taj, man, the host of the Taj Longino Show. And we downtown at Old National Center for the Wife and Lucci Tour. And we got one of the artists that's opening up. Go check him out right now on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Cammy Lee. What's going on? What's up, what's up, Taj, man? Happy to be here. Blessed to be here on this tour, man, with YNF, man. And it's, you know, it's just, it's just a blessing, man, first and foremost, man, because it's just, it's just incredible, man, because... I do this everything by myself so for me to be able to you know be in this position and it's really all on me i know a lot of people say yo i, I do everything by myself but this is me literally doing everything by myself this is me emailing this is me calling this is me just getting the whole situation right so mm -hmm. it's really you know to see what hard work can do when you actually stick to it man and you keep hitting the hole you keep punching the wall until you know what i'm saying to a mm -hmm. to a blessing drop out the hole you know it's that's so that's just, I'm just blessed to be here, man. So what what brought you to that, to where you had to grind by yourself? Was it the fact that you, you couldn't really rely on people, people, you know, drop the ball when we you know when you need them to actually come yeah, through? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit of, of the whole mixture because, um, you know, like I, I 2017, because I've been doing music for, this is going to be my third year, I've been doing this since 2016. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just like me, you know, I had a manager at first originally, his name was Mark, but I just didn't see like I, I I just I just got tired of waiting around, you know. Like I knew I had something, I knew that I I could be something because I was actually looking, you know what I'm saying. I was actually paying attention to the online situation and you know fan when you got fans tweeting you saying when you come in here when you come in there off one music video, it's just like you need to go harder, you know. And it's I just feel like a lot of people didn't see my vision. A lot of people don't see my vision. So what what was the day? Run me through the walk me through the day of. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do everything on my own. And how were you able to proceed forward going on your own? Because I, I, going on your own, that's a lot of more sacrifice on your personal time, away from family, away from this whatever it is you're doing personally. You know, that's a lot of more. Research. You know, you got to do a lot of more work on. It's all the work is on you. So, take me through the day of when you decided, you know what? I'm gonna do this moving forward. Um, the day I decided, I think I was. I think I just came home from playing basketball. I believe I was like at the gym. And I and I've been thinking about it a week straight. Like I need to move forward with my career. I need to start doing big shows. I need, to, you know, it was so much running through my mind, man. And I'm like, how do I do that? And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do it on my own. You know what I'm saying? So I just start doing the research behind who I was supposed to contact, and that's how I got in contact with Cody from Live Nation. And at the time, I was going to Wayne State University, uh, which is downtown Detroit, Michigan. So as I was going downtown Detroit, Michigan, I ran into a radio host that hosted at 107.5. His name was Sale. Uh, his name was uh, You Know Sale. Uh, shout out to You Know Sale, man. I don't really talk to him that much, but shout out to him. You know, I don't really talk to him that much now, but shout out to him, man, because it wasn't for him that market, you know, the things that took place in 2016 when it took place, uh, if it wasn't for him, man. So I got to give a big shout out to Sale. But, um, you know, I told him what I wanted to do. I gave him some music, man. He just accepted it automatically. He's like, man, this is different from any Detroit song. I want you to come to the radio station. So that turned into me going to the radio station every Friday with him. So that turned into Tory Lanez hearing my music and him calling me the day before his show and saying, yo, yo she is hot. I got a 20 minute set for you. If you want mm -hmm. it, then come. So that's how pretty much that happened. So once that happened, I pretty much got in contact with Cody from Live Nation. Uh, shout out Cody one time too from Live Nation. And you know, he just started putting me on show after show after show. You know, I opened up for like 15 different mainstream artists between between the end of 2016 to the summer of every every month. I was having two concerts. You know, I had Wawaka, uh with you know SZA. I don't know if you know SZA. SZA. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the Red Bull Sound Select, the Red Bull Sound Select in uh, Austin, Texas, for South by Southwest Festival. Uh, I, me and Jacquees did uh, Papa Lux Theater downtown Detroit. Uh, it was just like I was having show after show, two shows at least, two shows a month, you know, sometimes three. So that's just how I started, and I still and I started building this genuine, this genuine, fa uh, genuine of fans, which is you know pretty much women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I start. I don't get it twisted. I got a couple of real niggas that rock with me too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it just started becoming a thing, you know. And these women start showing up to the show, specifically me. And it's so funny because at the show when me and Tori Lance did the show. You know, he had uh, Boogie, shout out Boogie too. And he had some other act going on too. And everybody wanted to take me in, with pictures with me and Tory Lanez at the same time. So he was looking like, you know, who, he, yo, you really, you know what I'm saying? You really yeah. up to something. You know, so I turned around and I said, you know what? And, and shout out to Cody too, because Cody gave me a vision also. He said, have you ever thought about throwing your own headline and show? 
And I said, I you tell know artists what? that all the I, time. I said, man. you know what? No. Nah. He was like, let's do it. I was kind of nervous at first because I didn't know what ticket sales was going to be. I was nervous. But it's not about it's yeah. not about that. It's just about you presenting yourself to everybody and right. headlining the show right. like it's a big show. Yes. Don't don't promote yourself like yeah. you're a local artist or right. something. You're uh -huh. trying to get on. No, you put yourself out there just like YFN right, Lucci right. name real big right. and everything. You got to do. You know, it's I saw. I understand is that, but a lot yeah. of artists don't. Yeah, they don't understand. Yeah, yeah they don't, don't worry understand. About it. Yeah, that yeah. money will come back. Like yeah. the same way you took the steps to go out on your own. Look what happened from that. Right. If you'd have sat back and just waited and mm. stayed complacent, you never known what the end result would have right. been. Right. But um, he he asked me. He said, "You you ever thought about throwing it?" And I was like, "No, nah, I never." But let's do it. You know, I said, "Let's do it." Mm. So I was kind of nervous at first. So I'm like, "I don't know." So I dropped the tickets on LiveNation.com. They dropped them. They went on. They went on sale Friday at 10 p.m. I was so excited but nervous. You know, and then I just started seeing people screenshotting tickets and, and mentioning me on Twitter and mentioning me on Instagram, like, got my tickets, because we were selling tickets for about $10 and I think $15 at the mm -hmm. door. So, man, I ended up having 437 people come out, hey. the first headlining show. If you had 40, that still would have yeah, been good. That's because yeah, that's 40 can turn to 400, yeah, I had, 400 can turn to 4,000. Yeah, I had 437 people show up for me. That was with the, uh, with the receipt, because, you know, Live Nation give you a receipt after the concert, because, you know, they give you a check. But, um, yeah, the final count was 437 people, man, and I was just like thankful. And that's in Detroit, and Detroit is a very hard market. And we're um, gonna get into Detroit in a few. Right. Coming out of Detroit, the hip hop scene, you know, legendary Eminem, mm -hmm. Trick Trick, mm -hmm. Calico, the mm -hmm. uh, you know, the battle rapper. Mm -hmm. Outside of those figures, man, how has Detroit's hip hop scene changed that, and grown it, over the years? It's it's changing now. It just started changing because they're starting to accept a lot of more music versus what they did because they was only accepting the Detroit sound. That's why when I got the 437 people there, I was like. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't make the typical Detroit music, you know. Right. And that's come from me being born and raised in Dallas, though. So how um, how was the response been from when you first started, when you did that first show, that first headline on your own show? How what was the response moving forward after that? Because you know, people wish man, man. I like I ne like I just you know it just became a natural thing where I just started getting like follower like 500 followers a day and. They, people was being real responsive to my music. Um, they were, you know, sending me videos and them listening to my music. You know, I post them. Um, I make sure, I make sure, I make sure I try to read everything that people send that that what they says to me, and um, and, and post them. You know, I, I try to I try to be that person, uh, be that artist that posts that posts fans when they say something to me because that's how you build a genuine exactly. thing. You know, because without them. You know, I know it's probably cliche, but without them, I wouldn't have a situation. And a lot, you know and a lot of people saying? don't. And a lot of people don't understand so, that, that that concept that art. A lot of artists don't. Even mainstream artists, like they take the stuff for granted. So and trick, you know, and, and going around in hip hop lately, it's been this thing called checking in. You know, with 69, with uh, with 69, and you know, trick, trick is known for telling people no fly zone. Mm -hmm. Is the no fly zone? Real and what is that really? Shout out to Uncle. Know, what do shout you know out to Uncle like Trick Trick, man. Yeah. Trick Trick, Uncle Unc Mo. Shout out to you. <laughs> Trick Trick. I I like it because I, now, is I, this I a stand no -fly for zone it. Of where I, it, I stand for it because you can't. You come. You come. And and this is what I do too because even even me being in a position I'm in, like I had a like I had a sh basically I me and Twenty One Savage had a show November thirtieth at Royal Music Theater in in Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I put a showcase on, and the winner of that showcase. I gave them five minutes of my time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I gave them an opportunity because that's what it's all about. If you got a big, if you got an opportunity, man, share light mm -hmm. on it on other situations if you can. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to do that, but I did it off the simple fact is because I would want somebody to do that for me if right. I was in that position. So that's basically what the no fly zone situation is. It's like give arts, give you see the artists popping you, right. out here, give them an opportunity. So when you Put come into the city, five, stop minutes. by the radio station, stop by yeah, some of the you know what I'm no, saying? stop like, doing just say give what's up. An artist, give a local artist that's popping seven, ten minutes, that ain't gonna hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what the no fly zone situation is and I support it because I'm like that too. Like you come here, y'all sell out shows and then you know it's local artists that's actually popping and you don't even give them 10 minutes or you don't say, you know what, let me let me get you a song and something. You know what I'm right. saying? Anything could be appreciated. Ain't, no, ain't nobody asking for the moon and back, but it just, you know what I'm saying? You have to do those things, man, because that that gets you that gets you a song. I got respect from mad people because of what I do. Like, they, they I respect you. I respect what you're doing. You know, I didn't give countless artists opportunities. You know, every show I get in Detroit, I try to give an artist 
uh, seven minutes, five minutes of my set. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't mind doing that because at the end of the day, man, it's 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 all gonna be reciprocated. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so now we know we got you know you got sound check in a few minutes. So let's talk. Let's get to start, get to the music. Okay. You know you got the new joint in love. Mm -hmm. Y'all go check that out in love on YouTube. Uh, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, uh, Cammy Lee. Mm -hmm. Cammy right? Lee XO. So. What, tell us about the new music, the new uh, their album coming, mixtape. It, it's a seven-song EP coming. I'm working okay. on it, and I already put two of the songs out, which is In Love and Amen on there. I put Amen yeah. out like last year or something like that, but that is on the EP. Okay. In Love is on the EP. Um, I got a couple of songs, too, that I haven't even put out yet or touched. I got like 40 songs recorded right now put up. Um, so I'm just getting in it. I'm just getting in it, um, and uh, I'm just getting in it, um, man, and, and, you know, just trying to figure out what's yeah. what. And I'm still in the process of recording too. Like I just, I, I wrote, it, I just wrote a song last night. So uh, you know what I'm saying. So it's just, you know, just getting. So this your it. first time performing in that? Yeah, this is my first time in Indiana. Okay. And I was just saying that. When I just saying, I was just saying. I said, <laughs> I said, this is my first time in Indiana. It, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is crazy because you know I'm. And they I'm, coming out. Trust me, yeah. they coming out tonight. Yeah. So. Uh, man, I'm just ready to have a good show. I'm just ready to see what Indiana, what's up with Indiana, man. We done been, like, we done been all over the world, so it just, it feel good to be in Indiana for the first time. Um, I'm hoping for just some great energy, man. I'm hoping for an amazing show tonight. Uh, and if you are coming, man, tonight, man, uh, you know, thank you, because it's real important that the yeah. fans come out to these shows, man. That is so important. Like, they are the key to what is going on and why artists do travel and say, yo, I'm on a tour you know, this, this is the purpose so y'all can actually come out and see it live, you know, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all watch the videos and listen to the music, but y'all actually get to see it live. Y'all actually get to connect with the artist, you know, so it's really, it's really important, you know, that, you know, that, that is going on, you know, so. All right. Cammy Lee right here on Taj Lounge and those shows getting ready to get ready for tonight. Anything else you want the people to know? Um, uh, man, just, just thank you. Um, I appreciate everybody that listens to my music, everybody that, you know, comes to these shows when we have them. Um, like I said, man, like I started off at the beginning of, of this interview, man, um, I'm just real blessed to be in this position because I have did everything on my own to this point. You know, and it's stressful, but this is a payoff, you know, to that stress. And I will, and I will snap something. This brother is not lying because when I contacted him, um, he reached out immediately because all his responses have been, yeah, you know, you usually got to wait. You yeah. wait in the hours and all that. Yeah, no, it's, just like, it's just like I'm not that type of artist. I would never be that type of artist because every opportunity is something. You right. know, every opportunity is something, especially when you come out. I come from nothing, man. I come from the, man, I come from nothing, literally. I come from having to share a room with my big sister. Like, I come from nothing. So everything that I get, everything that I can get, man, I'm going to make sure I put my, my hands on it because that that's that's what a hustler does you know all and, right man. And this is a hustle you know oh, yeah <laughs> you oh, know yeah. so cammy lee ties lines in those show anything else that's it. Uh, all right man that's appreciate it. you for coming through man <laughs> no appreciate problem, you man. for coming through man doing the interview man is it's always good man every time i come out here man i'm at to check in with you oh yeah uh, we're gonna take so, we're gonna make sure you're good out here yeah man. so uh Just, like i no, said stay man stay away from thank, certain areas we're yeah. gonna make sure you're <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, thank you for you know coming out here and interviewing me man uh and you know let's get it man all right man tls we out